हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरीबॉडी आई होप एवरी वन इज फाइन वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू वीडियो एंड टुडे आई एम मेकिंग दिस वीडियो फॉर क्लास सेवन स्टूडेंट्स इंग्लिश टू आई एम हैविंग न्यू सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश टू एंड न्यू लेसन लेसन नंबर सेवन व्हिच डील्स विद द परफेक्ट कंटिन्यूस टेंसेस माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर वेन वी आर हैविंग लेसन नंबर सिक्स about tense that i told you that we would have a separate lesson for perfect continuous tense so today we are having this one i hope you will enjoy this video and learn from there so without wasting much time let's start let's get started uh, dear students uh, this uh, the present perfect continuous tense past perfect continuous tense and uh, the future perfect continuous tense these three are the forms of Uh, present tense past tense and future tense so first of all we are having the last form of present tense that is the present perfect continuous tense and what is present perfect continuous tense let me tell you very clearly this means those actions which started in the past but still going on at the time of speaking uh, for example you see i have been making this video for 5 minutes you can see me since uh, before 5 minutes i started making this video but still it's continuing yet not completed so just to denote such type of sentences the present perfect continuous tense is used we can have a lot of examples uh, you have been watching this video for 5 minutes we have been reading in class 7 for 5 6 months she has been playing Uh, for three two hours like this, any action uh, which is uh, going on for a long time in present, okay. At the time of speaking, the action must be going on. Got it? So we can have a lot of examples. Just think of such examples. Uh, and it's uh, you all know that there are some certain structures or formations of each tense forms, okay. so this present perfect continuous tense also has its own form formation this formation is subject plus have or has any one of these two according to the subject plus been plus main verb in first form and plus use ing plus object so i have been watching this video accordingly according to the formation this sentence has been structured so i hope you understood it and please try to make rest other sentences of your own then let's come to the next form that is uh, the past perfect continuous tense it's a form of uh, past tense and similarly the past perfect continuous tense also deals with the same thing that means it's also a long action in past which was happening there for a long time long time means these are the uh, sentences which are longer than the normal sentence or normal actions okay for example Uh, they had been playing football yesterday for three hours. You see, for three hours isn't it longer time? Yes. So they had been studying football yesterday for three hours. Means for three hours the work. You can say the playing football was going on, and it also has a certain uh, formation. This formation is subject plus had plus been plus verb in first form plus ing plus object. so there is no problem at all once you clear the concept of the present perfect continuous tense then you can understand rest other also same thing little bit changes there timing change there rest other remains the same and the last form of this uh, chapter that is the uh, future perfect continuous tense future as you know future means those actions which will happen in the coming days which are going to happen in the coming days so future perfect continuous tense means also those actions which will be going on in the future for a long time okay it will be continuing for 3 days 4 days or it may be for may, maybe for 2 hours like this that means longer actions than the normal actions okay e but in the future for example i still have been studying in class 8 next year 
obviously my dear students you will be studying you will be studying you will uh, uh, once you clear this exam you will be in class 8 next year then that time you will have been studying there for a long time for uh, what called 12 months isn't it so this is an example of the uh, future perfect continuous tense and you see it's a formation subject plus have or uh, subject plus sell or will any one of this or uh, any one of these two according to the subject plus have plus been plus main verb in first form plus ing plus object i shall have been studying in class 8 for 12 months so you can think of many other examples also just please remember the given structures and just the main point of this forms what is the present perfect continuous what is the past perfect continuous and what is the future perfect continuous just remember the key points and the formation of these forms then try to make them and uh, these are the main points of this chapter chapter number seven of class seven besides this in the book it's given how to make affirmative negative and positive sentences of these forms okay Positive means, yes, the examples which were already given by me are positive, without not, right? And negative means with not, okay? Just uh, showing the negativity. Uh, for example, I have been playing football. Then how will you make negative sentence of this one? You will have to say, I have not been, just use not, okay? There. Similarly, in past perfect continuous, I had not been. And in future perfect continuous, I shall have not been uh, playing football. In this way you can make negative sentences also. Uh, and uh, interrogative. Interrogative sentence you all know. Interrogative sentence means uh, questions. Those sentences those who ask, uh, which ask questions. So just to make question you use the helping verb in the beginning of the sentence. And this sentence becomes automatically a question. Uh, for example. I have been playing. So how to make question? Have I been playing? And just change the tone. I have been playing football. Have I been playing football? Make it like this. And I had been watching video. Had I been watching video? Similarly, I shall have been going to school. For example, shall I have been going to school? Just change your tone. In the questioning tone, you just ask and use the helping group in the beginning. Then that automatically become your question. So my dear students, so these are the things that you need to learn from this lesson. You please go through the book, go through the lessons. Everything is explained there with a lot of examples. And always try to present example by yourself, okay? Examples are very much helpful as I told you. I always suggest you to give examples, okay? And unless you read the book, your um, concept of these things may not be clear. So besides watching this video and learning from this you please go through the book re do read the books and try to make sentences of your own as as many as possible so that's all this uh, that's all about this lesson i'm not going to make this video longer and i hope you are preparing well you are uh, focusing on your studies and please any problem any doubt at any time you can obviously without any hesitation uh, uh, whatsapp me you can send message in my whatsapp or even just uh, send message uh, you can just make a call also there will be no problem and many other students are doing so i will be very much pleased if you do so if you have any doubt you just clear okay without any hesitation you must not have any hesitation to just uh, say or ask some questions so that's it i hope days are going well and please be safe stay home and that's that's all for the day and uh, you see just uh, explanation of this uh, lesson is almost over uh, through this video and uh, you'll be getting rest other answers uh, in pdf form PDF uh, form, PDF file will be uploaded as I used to do and please note it down from there. So that's all for the day. Uh, we'll see in the next video with new lesson. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching.